Hi everyone, welcome back to Trevor's Tech Tips, where we keep it short and sweet. So today we're going to deal with uh, text alignment. So what we're going to do is highlight our heading here. And uh, I'm going to show you something that's not direct alignment, but it comes in handy. So we got these preset headings here that we could apply. It's like preset formats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it, modify. I'm going to change it to Times New Roman. I'm going to say center. And I'm going to say bold. I'm going to change the font color to black. I'm going to say automatically. I'm going to say to this document here. OK. So what I've done is each time I type, let's say I put a... Um, something called summary down here what I could do is highlight it and use what I've just modified and then all our headings would be the same because I'm sure if you're doing a, a document or a report you can't do it in blue or something you're <laughs> you'd be in trouble so you could do that use these preset formats here now by default alignment is left so you could align right, depending on what the purpose is. You could say align center, which is what we did here. See, left, right, center. Or you could say justify. This is normally for paragraphs, which makes even spacing on both sides. It stretches the words out, so it's nice and neat. So this is justified. This is right aligned. And this is left aligned. There we go. Right? So, that covers alignment there. Now, what you could do is you could highlight this, this right here. Right click, say paragraphs. And you could also alter the alignment from here. So, you could say left. Fun. And you could say, whoops, sorry, not fun. Paragraph. You could say right, right, and you can change it back from over here. And you could space the words going to paragraph. Now, this is saying multiple, but I could set it to single line that single line right there. I could say, I could say, uh set it to 1.5 depending on the type of report or presentation you're doing or you could right click here and you click here and select two you could go more but most people don't go beyond two it look rather ridiculous so i'm going to zoom out here just for you to see so this is single this is 1.5 and this is two right and you can do it from here as well so if i wanted to go here i could say one i could go here and say two if i wanted to right so there's more than one ways of getting the job done and uh, it's just for us to know which is which now this deals with the indentation I could block here and go like that, increase and decrease the indentation, or what I could do is go here, <clears throat> and then we've got indentation here, and I could increase the indentation, and you get a preview right here, see? So you get a little preview to know what the indentation is going to be like. And I could even indent it from the right as well. It all depends on what the uh, the purpose is. Now, the beauty of doing it here is you get a little preview. So let's say, for instance, I want it to do this part here. And I want it to do spacing. You get uh, a little preview. And this is a spacing before a paragraph. See? So before the paragraph starts, you get a bit of spacing. And then after the paragraph, oh, let me show you here. Uh, let's say we're doing this one here. 
you see, after the paragraph. Seeing the words disappearing because they're too far down. See? So it all depends on how you want it to go. Right, and see this jumps up here because of all of the, the paragraph spacing. Right, so now the final thing we're going to look on is Format Painter. Now, Format Painter applies to almost everything that is covered in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. But it shows itself a lot more when we're dealing with text. I'm going to show you. So, what you do is you pick something that has a format in that you like, click on your home tab, click Format Painter, and then you block the area where you want to apply the format in. So by blocking this area, we have applied the, the line spacing and the indentation from here over to here. Let's say, let me see, let's say we want it to apply this font to this word right here. We could go like that. See, it takes on the same font face and the same font size. Right? Now, this is sort of in a table format, even though you can't see the, the lines. So, this retains its alignment like that. So, Format Painter, it applies to a, mul a multitude of things. So, let's say, for, in for instance, uh, Format Painter, It takes on the font face, which is Times New Roman in this case. The font size, in fact, I think I should have done some changes here. Let's put a bit more format in there. Then we format paint of this. There we go. So it takes the font face. The font size takes on the bold, the italics, the underline, any formatting that was applied to the original. When you paint it on the other, the other bit there, it takes on all that formatting. And this applies to everything. It applies to shapes, uh, pictures, to some extent. It all depends on, on where the formatting is applied, but this will save you a lot of work. So, like for instance, even in bullet points, say you had, a, you had these words correct, and you put them there. And each of these words are a bullet point. What I could do is create a specific bullet point do the formatting that I like. So I'm going to re reduce the space right here. And I'm going to put it there. I'm going to make this lime green. And then I'm going to select my format painter. And when I apply it on all these little words, they take on the exact same formatting. So you know, you have people just spending hours on end doing formatting. Just type up what you want, format one bit, copy your format painter there, and apply it to where you want it. And that changes it. So like, I messed this part up because I took this change here, but all I need to do is pick that. So I'm going to highlight there, format painter, apply it to that bit, and there we go. It falls back into place. So, pretty easy. There we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, share to your friends. 
I hope this was uh, educational and you learned something. Thank you. Bye-bye.